Well, I'm in a loss of words right now. The Bears' season is going to come to an end. They're going to move to 5-9 and nine after a 20-17 to 17 loss to the Browns. This is a game that the Bears had no business losing. I mean, Joe Flacco threw three interceptions. I can't see sacks right now, but he took a ton of sacks. The Bears' defense was absolutely just electric in this game. They did give up that big touchdown to Amari Cooper late in the fourth quarter. But, I mean, outside of that, what, 14 of the 17 came off of turnovers? I mean, Montez Sweat, ever since the trade, has just completely helped transform this defense. Tremaine Edmonds had a pick six. Tyreek Stevenson, the rookie out of Miami, had a couple of deflections, including an interception. Brisker and a walker, like, everyone just showed up, man. And unfortunately, the offense did let the team down and um, is going to unfortunately let the season down. But Justin Fields, it's easy to look at his numbers. If you didn't watch the game, be like, he threw two picks. He threw one touchdown, 166 yards. Well, if we're being honest, both of those interceptions came on Hail Marys. The first one actually wasn't an interception. It was dropped, hit the ground. But the I don't think they're going to go back and take that away. And then the second one was just last play of the game. Man, when that ball hit Darnell Mooney in the hands, my like life flashed before my eyes right into his, his um, chest. And unfortunately, he didn't bring it down. And then it was um, hit in the air and picked off. But the offense just wasn't good enough today, man. I mean... Only 88 rushing yards. Justin Fields had seven carries for 30 yards. They didn't get him going t until late in this game. I mean, the first quarter, Fields only had one design run, and it went for five yards. But still, like that's that's big time getting five yards off of a run, especially with just how little efficiency the Bears had today. And uh, moving forward for this team, I do like the direction of it. It doesn't change my thoughts on the Bears. Like, yeah, they're not going to the playoffs, but they're playing much better. They're playing competitively, and it's just clear that the offense just needs to be upgraded. I mean, the offensive line had been staying healthy the past four or five games for the first time in Fields' career, but you know, ultimately they did lose Tevin Jenkins um, in this game, and then they've got, like, Lucas Patrick. I mean, Cody White here is as good as gone. Like, Nate Davis... Uh, you know, Donna Wright, like Braxton Jones, like, you know, these guys have been playing better, but it's just, man, the Browns are just too good. They've got Zadarius Smith. They've got Dalvin Tomlinson, who's one of the best interior pass rushers in the league. Miles Garrett, obviously. And then um, the linebacker, Jermaine Wuzu koromoa The offense just had no chance in this game. It's so unfortunate because the defense played well. We've been talking all year about how the Bears started off the year giving up 30 points and they just had no chance to get wins, but now the defense does show up and the offense doesn't. I mean, DJ Moore was dealing with an injury, so we didn't get to see him at full strength. He was not, I wouldn't say he was quiet in this game, but I mean, you know, four for 52 is not bad by any means, but we just really needed DJ Moore to have that game today, but he's dealing with, of course, guys like Denzel Ward, who was back, figures, right, he comes back against the Bears, and then uh, you got another really good corner in Greg Newsom the second, and there's just talented corners everywhere. Like, Martin Emerson Jr. had two picks the last game for the Browns, and, yeah, just, uh, man, the Bears just didn't have any time. I mean, even in the final drive of this game with no timeouts, obviously having to go, you know, 70 yards, just just pressure in Fields' face. He wasn't able to do much, even on these quick routes. I mean, that's the the Browns' strength is getting after the quarterback. The Bears set themselves up in a lot in third and long situations because they weren't able to pick up the the quick ones to start off the downs and early on. So the Bears went uh, three and out a ton in this game. They weren't able to put together long drives, methodical drives, and that's going to be the, um, the story of this game. I mean, Tyler Scott... You know, 30 of his 49 yards came on that final catch. Roshan Johnson, 24 yards out of the backfield. Like Cole Komet was just 5 for 23 in this game. Darna Mooney, 2 for 14. I mean, Mooney's just been non-existent this season. Last season, dealt with injuries. This season just hasn't been a factor. And you know, Robert Tunyon dropped the wide-open touchdown. I mean, we go on and on, man. Um, I'm not even making this use. It's just it's unfortunate. Um, obviously, you know, Trent Taylor and... Uh, ends up, you know, losing a fumble. Um, you know, Joe Flacco lost. Uh, he didn't lose a fumble, but he did fumble, and then he had those three picks. Like, the defense just, you know, Montez Sweat, you know, finishes this game with two and a half sacks, a tackle for a loss, seven tackles, just had an unbelievable performance. He was all over the field. Uh, I just can't even believe the Bears were able to let this one go. Obviously, they had a 17-7 to lead going into the fourth quarter, and the Browns um, scored 13 unanswered in the fourth to put them up three. And even on that final drive for the Browns, when they took the lead... Oh, yeah, there's also another play I want to talk about. I'll get into that after. But the Browns in that final drive, I mean, they were in a third and long, and the Bears, you know, Iberflus dials up a blitz, and Flacco picks it up immediately, kicks it out to Najoku for the big gain. But... 
A play that I haven't even mentioned is um, at the end of the first half, the Bears could have taken a 55-yard field goal, but instead they went for the Hail Mary. And I mean, Cairo Santos was hitting on 55 consistently in pregame, so it is questionable, but I think it's just easier said than done to be like, we lost by three, why didn't we take the field goal for 55 yards? I mean, the Hail Mary, it's the Hail Mary for a reason, but there is a chance someone comes down with it or there's a pass interference. So, I mean, if you don't have the confidence in your kicker and you want to just throw one up there, I don't really have an issue with that. But, I mean, points are really tough to come by, especially against the Browns. So, yeah, you'd have to think that, you know, three points could be the, fa the deciding factor of this game because both offenses just weren't very good in this game. And, yeah that's what happened right it came down to three points so it'd be interesting to hear Eva Flewis and what he has to say to the media about that decision I'm sure it will be justified I mean I doubt it's like oh yeah we felt great in our kicker from 55 but we decided to just you know throw up a Hail Mary I mean kicking in Cleveland's very difficult with the wins so that's probably um I'd imagine that was a huge factor but um outside of that I mean the Bears uh the Panthers won today they still would have the number one pick in the draft, so I'm not too concerned with it. But the Bears with the loss, I'm not sure what pick they have. I really don't care. I wanted them to win, obviously. But um, next up is the Cardinals, Falcons, and Packers. So the Bears are 5-9 and nine right now. They went out. They'd go to 8-9. and nine. That still could make the playoffs, but I just don't feel as confident as I did coming into this game. I thought for sure the Bears would win. And going into the fourth quarter, I felt extremely confident, but... Fortunately, the Browns, you know, Joe Flacco has led a ton of game-winning drives. They have arguably the best kicker in the league right now. Most field goals, I mean, he hasn't missed a game-winning kick. Like, he made his last nine. So, yeah, just um, just a tough loss to swallow, man. But, you know, glass half full. The Bears are playing competitively. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team that came into the week 8-5. and five. Um, Bears are on the road. And the Browns, one of the best defenses in the NFL. Joe Flacco had been playing well. And the Bears went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. But, obviously, just... They were just overmatched, right? The offensive line was bad in this game. And uh, the skill positions didn't do much. I mean, there were some drops, some missed opportunities. I thought Fields made a ton of good throws. I mean, it's not like Fields was, was perfect in this game. I mean, there was a couple of times where he held onto the ball too long and, and things like that. But, I mean, just playing in the rain, you know, two gloves on and going up against that pass rush, I think Fields did play just about as good as you could have. And the defense, the way it showed up, I mean, yeah, this is just – um. This is just the most devastating loss for the Bears of the season and probably is going to end their season. But I do think that, you know, next season will be a lot better because, uh, you know, Matt Eberflus is calling the plays and the defense and everyone, the potential is starting to show. And the Bears are going to have cap space. They're going to have a lot of draft capital thanks to the Panthers. And, yeah, they'll be good to go. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. No, I got nothing else to say, man. Peace.